Yeah. It's really gone too far. It has really, really gone way too far. And I didn't really realize just how mm, mm, sad that the minds of a lot of you have gotten. And the only reason and I can explain is because there is no more civics in schools. Most of y'all don't know how government works. I tried to do videos where you can see your branches of government, um, how it operates. Um, because I knew y'all was tripping when y'all said Donald Trump gave you some stimulus checks. And this is for my listeners that um, aren't very politically educated. Don't mean nothing is wrong with you. It just means that they purposely took civics out of the schools and dummied you down for this moment in time. For this moment in time, because see, these people do stuff 20 years ahead of time. So the by the time by the time you catch up, it's done already been in place, implemented, and ready to go. Okay. What made me have to make this video is I can't believe y'all blaming Kamala Harris for what is going on with the FEMA emergency. First of all, y'all, God, what does Kamala Harris have to do with it? What does she have to do? That's your Congress. Your Congress voted whether you should get some more money or not. What the? F what the Sam's Tarnation? How dumb are you guys? And, you know, I'm talking to you like I'm trying to respect your mindset. But you're not leaving me much to go on. Because you don't know how shit works. It's just that simple. You don't know how it works. But if you don't want to make yourself seem all the way stupid, please take some advice from me. Please, please, please. And you can back it up. I, go look up what I'm saying if you don't believe it to be true. But there are 60-year-olds, 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 70-year-olds who are smarter than you generation Xers right now. And a lot of y'all that um, out here talking the most crap are the ones who've never had civics. And so the stuff y'all saying is so stupid. I just got to say it. Kamala this. Kamala, y'all hate Kamala. And I don't give a damn who you vote for at this point. Like I tell you, say all the time, they both different wings on the same bird. You just got to, I personally, in my spirit, have to figure out, you know, which one is more in line with my thoughts. Uh, what's wrong with black people is they think that they vote once and then that's the end of it. And then they get mad when nobody remember what they thought about. That See, that's a big problem. And when you, when you have a household that don't teach you about uh, civics, they expect the school to educate you about everything, then that's the problem right there. See, some of y'all parents need to be blamed, you know, because you're woefully ignorant. And the sad part about it is they, even if they couldn't teach you, they didn't make sure you did your homework or they didn't make sure you, they learned so you could learn. See, because each one teaches one, right? So if your mama and them ain't taught you nothing, then you go to school and they took it out for their particular purposes to dummy you down. What chance do we have as a nation? Huh? Okay, you don't know. Well, let me say this to you again. The Congress votes on where the money goes. Where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides, that's what Congress do, okay? You can't blame Kamala Harris for everything, okay? And don't make that a reason you don't vote for her because 
she won't give money, FEMA money, to the people that need it. You go to your local politicians. You go to your Congress people. And that's who you encourage to pass the bill to get you more money. Not Kamala Harris. Okay? That is just so silly and degenerative. I mean, I can't even hardly explain it. It's so stupid. But I had to get up and even say that because I, I'm just so tripped out about some of y'all. Some of y'all ignorance is just mind-blowing. And I don't have a lot of patience at this age for dumb, dumb, dumb dummies. Kamala Harris is her fault? Oh, God bless America. They really put a, did a number. Because anybody that can stand out and, and, and listen to Donald Trump, who most people that's got an ounce of sense know he's mentally ill. So that go to show you just how many mentally ill people that we have in this nation. That this is normal to them. Donald Trump, and they never, and they, they, they got so much craziness in their homes and in their families. Liars, uh, 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 people who um, are ath actually pathological liars because it's easy for them to accept Donald Trump. Well, I don't have a lot of pathological liars in my family like that. So it's very difficult for me to believe what the hell he's saying. In fact, it's insulting to me to have to listen to him. And when I see y'all at them rallies, all I keep saying is, damn, these some dumbass people. How dumb. And I hate to talk about y'all, but I got to at this point because right now you just, you, you, you need a thrashing. You need a thrashing. And no matter who you decide to vote for, why don't you learn civics? You no good to nobody, the black community, talking about tangibles, tangibles, and what you going to do for black people. What are black people going to do for themselves? Huh? When are they going to continue to fight that their ancestors fought since they've been on this soil? Not just... Vote one time and expect the electrics and or expect they don't even listen. They don't even do uh, local politics. They just jump on the political bandwagon. The only thing the political uh, landscape can do for me is uh, make it universal all the way around the board that we do away with qualified immunity. See, or the filibuster. Those are the only. Otherwise, what are y'all talking? Y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all so sad that it's making me very frustrated. And a lot of us are looking at our counterparts and saying, "What did y'all teach y'all kids? What the hell? Because they dumb. They following a man like Donald Trump." Now, let me make this perfectly clear: a lot of older people and people my age, they see now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and admit it. A lot of them are senile. So that's why they voting for Trump. Okay? and But for those of y'all who are young, vibrant, supposed to be smart in school, I want you to know they ain't teaching you a damn thing. They're teaching you how to accept mental illness. You've already accepted it, and you put that in the place of power and strength. A person that's a bully and a coward. And afraid of his own shadow. If you don't do nothing else, stop blaming Kamala Harris. <sighs> Kamala Harris is not responsible for you not getting a FEMA check. Please stop spreading the lies and the rumors. And if you don't know, then you better ask somebody. You don't know it all. Matter of fact, you don't know nothing. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. So, if you disagree with me, let me see your comment below because I'm anxious to hear it. Civics, civics, civics. Civics, civics, civics. Y'all missing it. Y'all missed the whole point, the boat. 
you've missed the boat. And I'm going to see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share my channel. Oh, God. I'll see you Doras later.